Rakuten Soshio Business is home to a number of outstanding engineers with hearing impairments who work alongside other colleagues with disabilities. Here, we investigate how they have realized a new technology that enables engineers with visual impairments to take part in robotic process automation development. Rakuten Soshio Business launched its technical services department in April 2020, which currently employs 12 staff members. As well as RPA developments, the team is involved in renovating the core financial management system for the Rakuten Group while also developing systems to improve operations for various businesses and departments across Rakuten. The effort to involve visually impaired engineers in development began back in 2008 when the company welcomed two visually impaired staff members to assist with PC-related tasks such as data processing. The two soon found that they needed more time to carry out manual input tasks compared to those without disabilities, so they began to develop macros and other systems to support themselves. These systems were well received, and they began receiving one-off macro development projects mainly from the creative and web design departments of Rockton Ichiba, involving data processing and creation of an automatic template generation tool for email magazine HTML, among other tasks. With this rising demand, the number of development staff in Rockton Socio Business began to increase. Then in 2018, the corporate IT department contacted the business about a joint RPA development project. We released the RPA platform in 2018 so that anyone in Rockton Group can start using RPA tools right away, improving business productivity. So the timing was perfect. Since RPA platform just started and was in need of engineers, we proposed the collaboration with social engineers, first consulting with our team members, then later with the executives who fully supported the idea. In the past three years, RPA robots have increased to more than 600 and contributed to reduce more than 14,000 hours per month now. In addition, more than 70 departments are currently engaged in RPA. Also, the number of social engineers increased from 4 to 12. I think the number of engineers will increase further in the future and together will continue to contribute to improving productivity. We spoke to one of the hearing impaired engineers who realized this new RPA development's technology. RPA platform called Blue Prism employs a graphical user interface for coding. It was required for blind engineers who use only keyboard and braille device. However, we saw this world as an opportunity. We researched Blue Prism and found out that its internal structure is based on XML text file. Then we devised a way to create a new method to code only by text format, like compiler between GUI and CUI. In the future, we hope that our new method will contribute to blind engineers not only in Lactem, but around the world. This RPA project has attracted interest from the wider business industry, and at the 2020 edition of the Annual Information Technology Awards Ceremony held in February 2021, it received a special award in the social problem-solving area. We interviewed the manager of the Technical Services Department for his side of the story. In our team, we have five engineers with visual impairment. And this development, which allowed them to use their skills for a major project like RPA, is something to celebrate. What's more, I'd be delighted if by sharing this achievement through the group, we can help to create employment opportunities and enhance the work environment for visually impaired engineers in Japan and beyond. Rockton's culture of understanding and respecting diversity has enabled our team to continuously and intensively work in advanced system development. And this environment has contributed to this breakthrough. I truly feel that Rockton is a company where employees with different backgrounds can work in their own way and demonstrate high performance. 
At present, Rakuten Social Business employs over 200 staff, and the company has created new employment opportunities for people with disabilities throughout the Rakuten Group in areas such as general affairs and HR, as well as convenience store and cafe operation, and a vegetable processing factory. And in January 2021, the company was also certified under the Monisu system by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, a certification to recognize businesses for their outstanding efforts towards realizing stable employment for people with disabilities.